I'm Chris Molyneux from Molyneux and New Family Wines and we're here at our winery in the Swatland at Roundstone. Um, and just going to chat a little bit about what, what characterizes or defines uh, white wines in the Swatland. And for me it's um, a lot about texture and, and texture is a kind of, it means different things to different people but to me texture is, is kind of a weight or a, or a density that you get on the palate. So the wines are not they're not light, they're not thin, they're not watery. They have this n nice sort of textural weight to them, but it's not a sweetness, it's not an oiliness or a creaminess. It's, it's this, this, this presence on your palate, uh, which, which I think is very special. And it comes obviously from our climate. We have a warm, dry climate, so the yields are quite low and you have small berries with a lot of fruit concentration. Uh, also comes uh, from the old vines, which, which also lends to that. So we, we have these old vineyards that are you know, 35 up to 68 years old in our case, uh, and that further adds to to lower yields, more concentration, um, and it's not like I said, it's it's not texture from from sugar or alcohol. We're not picking late, um, so the wines the wines have this yeah this this extract this this weight on the palate, and I, I find that on in everything, Chenin, uh, Viognier, Claret Blanche, all all the white wines have that. Uh, so that that's really. The, the definition for me of a white wine from the Swatland. It's, it's that, that mid palate texture you get naturally. Yeah. Red wines is different. Red wines are more, I, I think you can often spot a red wine from the Swatland based on its tannin. Um, it's, the tannins in the Swatland are, they're firm, but they're not aggressive. We, we don't have rough or green tannins uh, really. Uh, in fact, we actually have to work quite hard in the winery to get tannin. Uh, if, if, you're, if you're too hands off, the wines can be quite soft, quite round. So that's why a lot of the winemakers in the Swatland do whole bunch fermentation. They don't, they don't de-stem all the grapes and the, the stems help to bring a bit of structure and a bit of backbone into the wine as well. Um, but it's still a nice chalky sort of, uh, it's a tannin with chalky grip rather than harsh astringency. Um, and that, that for me is the character you get on the palate on the red wines. Um, so th those are the two things that I, if I'm looking to see if this wine tastes like a Swatland wine, th that's what I'm looking for. So if a white wine is thin and lean, you know, and light, then to me it doesn't taste like it comes from the Swatland. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's that. <laughs>